Hi, welcome to Frankly with me, Frank LaFerla, and my special guest is Professor Peter Donovan from the Department of Developmental and Cell Biology. Welcome, Peter. It's always fun to have you here. Thanks very much for having me. So I'm going to start off with a series of questions, I guess, uh, for you. Let's start off with the easies. Uh, tell us when you got here. You know, Frank, I was thinking it's Alzheimer's Awareness Month this November, isn't it? You obviously are... Uh, noted uh, Alzheimer's researcher yourself. Why don't we do a flipped interview like uh, Colbert and Stewart and I interview you? All right, fair enough, go for it. What is Model AD? Model AD is a consortium established by the National Institutes of Health to allow researchers to develop the next generation of animal models to study this complex neurodegenerative disorder. Model actually is an acronym that stands for Model Organism Development and Evaluation for Late Onset AD, Alzheimer's Disease. Most individuals who suffer from Alzheimer's disease have late onset Alzheimer's disease, what we would describe as idiopathic, meaning that there doesn't seem to be any obvious genetic risk factor or cause that underlies it. However, all of the existing models of Alzheimer's disease are based on those very rare autosomal dominant forms of the disease, which only account for one to 2%. So we're trying to develop drug treatments for the majority of people who have this, 98% of them who have this idiopathic late onset form of Alzheimer's disease using animal models that uh, recapitulate the one or 2% of the cases. And what are you and your colleagues here at UCI doing in this effort? Yeah, so we started off with a very simple premise for uh, you know our approach to trying to model AD at UCI, which was that regardless of what you think causes Alzheimer's disease, you were going to need this mouse that we were trying to generate. And what we did was we decided to humanize the plaque protein and, um, and use that mouse as a platform to then introduce other variants that we hope will get us towards a you know, nice Alzheimer's type phenotype. Another critical aspect of Model AD is that um, not only do we hope to generate, um, develop the next generation of mouse models uh, of, of this terrible disease, but we want to make uh, the data widely available and the mice themselves widely available to researchers throughout the, um, the community uh, without any legal restrictions. And that's been a barrier that has impeded research because a lot of the models have very strong legal restrictions with them. And so one of the main goals of Model AD is to make sure we could widely distribute these models so that they could be used by other researchers to evaluate their favorite hypotheses or to um, use them in, to analyze different drugs. Now that you've made this animal model, what, what are you going to do with it? What's the next step? So what we're trying to do is, uh, we're trying to humanize several critical genes that we think are play a major role in the development of Alzheimer's disease. So we started off by humanizing the plaque protein in mice. Next step for us is to humanize the tau protein, which is responsible for forming those neurofibrillary tangles. And uh, that work is in progress right now. And, and then we will introduce the major genetic risk factor for people even with late onset Alzheimer's, which is the apolipoprotein E. So we'll have a platform mouse in which three of the most important Alzheimer's genes, uh, the plaque protein, tau protein, and APOE have been humanized. Model AD seems like a really exciting new avenue for you, your group and many faculty at UCI. What would you as an Alzheimer's disease researcher um, view as success 
that would come out of this project? Well, the ultimate success of Model AD would be that the models that we generate help lead to a new therapy and treatment for individuals with Alzheimer's uh, disease. Short of that, we want to see that the models that we create are widely used by the research community, and hopefully that will lead to a better understanding of what the disease processes are. Well, Frank, um, really enjoyed sitting down talking with you. I'm sure we have a lot more to discuss, but uh, thank you for letting me turn the tables on you. Thank you. It was a pleasure.